Hey everyone, what felt waiting for. Slaughter them. <laughs> Just got interrupted by Alaric, but this is Deltron Live. We, I will be playing the Wrath of the Taldarim. This is a custom campaign for StarCraft II created by Cybros X. So Cybros X just recently released the first mission pack for this campaign. There are four missions. I do plan on playing all of these. And there is a introduction uh, cinematic as well. So I know I showcase... You certainly need it. <laughs> all right, Alarak. So I did showcase the first the intro and the first mission on my channel a while back, but I did want to show all this again because Cybers X has done a ton of work. There's voice acting. He has a new hero model, which I'll talk about in a little bit. And he has this awesome mission launcher screen as well. So Wrath of the Talarim, the Talarim separated and went away from- waiting for? Slaughter them. <laughs> Alex is gonna keep interrupting us. Went away with Amon millions of years ago, but now they are free. Not all of them have joined Alarak when he defeated Malash. Razgul, forgotten Templar of the Kala. Cursed by Amon, Amon got a chance to escape and become leader of the Talarim and stop the hidden, hidden evil that was created by Amon and left on unknown planets in the sector. But first, he must meet Alarak. Well, he's right. To our right. Uh, let's start campaign. So... Okay, it takes a couple, like a second or two, but I'm very excited to actually see what changes have been made to this campaign and actually get to play past the first mission. Wrath of the Taldarim. I am Rasgul, the Taldarim warlock, and I was betrayed by my people. Once we were fighting against Avon's servants, against our brethren, his slavery only brought doom to our race. Malash and I were pushing those servants in order to reclaim our own world, but we failed. He became a servant of the dead god, and for my crimes against him, they wanted me to suffer. Ramona, servant of Malash, has sent me through the portal into a forgotten land. They sent me into exile. But after hundreds of years, Amon has been destroyed once and for all. Now is my time to become the leader of the Tal Dream. Nice. So we got an introduction introduction to Razgul there. So I know about a week ago, two weeks ago, I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, so... In the past, I did showcase a gameplay preview that was played by Cybros X, and we got to see this new grad school model. Whereas, in my previous playthrough of this mission, and the cinematic, Razgul was actually just a Gul'dan model from Heroes of the Storm. So this is the first mission. Awakened Evil. The Forgotten World doesn't contain any Vestman geysers. Try to find some pickable gas on the map. I do like the loading screen. Very, very neat. Will we will be playing on hard? When I came here, I felt rage, sadness, betrayed by the people I was fighting for. But I wasn't truly alone. I found my own people here, sent into exile because of me. I 
I was watching these forces of Malash, thinking about a strategy on how to get out. There is no way out. As long as Avon still lives, within the void, his power is beyond my limits. But I'll wait here for my revenge on Malash. I will wait for justice. Many years later. I can feel the void whispering to me. Amon is dead. This is our chance, my brethren. There is a portal which brought us here. If we destroy the stones linked to the portal, we will be able to open it. Each stone is defended by tall during guardians sent by Malash. We must break their defenses. Okay. Warriors, keep your eyes open. Their shadow warriors will hunt us down. Okay, so we are playing as Razgul. And we are going up Malash's Tadarim Guardians. So I'm just getting some probes out right now. Let's go ahead and get a pylon here. Rally our Nexus. And let's check out our tips. No music? Check the settings. Well, we do have music. Avoid tornadoes. These void monsters will damage and knock back your units. I believe these are the tornadoes here. It's been a while since I played this mission. Rasgul is a Taldorian warlock con controlling shadow magic. He was a Templar before, but Amon's shadows turned him into something more dangerous. He denied him and be became a warlock of his own will. His magic is powerful, but costs energy to be cast. Rasgul has no energy regen, but his energy is regenerated from his attacks. So you can see here, we have no energy, but we can start attacking our own building. And we will gather energy. So I do remember that very very useful especially on protest structures that can regen their shields and two more hits let's check out his ability shadow blast 200 while wow, we keep getting probes we have no vespian on this map so keep that in mind uh, so his shadow blast deals 200 damage to target unit structure okay so target also takes increased damage for five seconds so it's like a nuke with a debuff crushing grip Okay, consume, restores his energy and mind control, which will be fantastic for taking enemy units. So let's just get our saturation up. We do want to get upgrades. I'll probably focus on upgrades. And I remember this mission isn't too too bad. It's not like super, super easy. It is the a first mission. Let's just start getting some zealots, I guess. And let's start pushing out with just Raz Razgul. Now let's see what we can get here. Let's take a Zealot and then get out of here. And then just start attacking this until you get your energy back up and running. Okay, that's good. Now we can actually go back down. Probably want to take this out first. Okay. Probably want to build a few cannons at home as well. Let's focus on getting upgrades. Alright, Razgul. Alright, let's pull them up. Take one. Get down there. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Okay, let's just put this on. That we should. That should be enough for probes. Uh, what else can we get? Cybernetics core. Sure. <laughs> Not really sure I'll be using that, but let's see if there's any good upgrades to get. I do like the tornadoes. They look very, very neat. Okay. Let's get down there. I should have mind controlled that guy. Let's mind control him. 
Let's get this guy out of here. What does he have? He has Guardian Shield. Just fine, I guess. Alright, you need to actually attack this, buddy. You zealots. You need to go home. See, they're attacking us at home. Some stalkers, runaway zealots. Okay. You guys stay at home. Let's finish this off. Please. Sentry, you don't need to be here. Keep getting those upgrades. And we just need Vespin Gas. Razgul, you can do this yourself. Very, very neat. Alright. We can just avoid this. Come over here. And then you attack. You will see the rift power is opening. Prepare your blades, warriors. We must close the rift before it's too late. Okay, close the rift. Let's get a few cannons. Three cannons should be just fine. We have a lot of money here, so let's just just get a crap ton of cannons. <laughs> Okay, that is dead. Oh yeah, they spawn. That's what the rift is. Okay. I remember that. Let's just get a few cannons in our base. There we go. And I do not know if there's an actual expansion to get or not. Let's get the stalker. This is great. Fantastic. Let's quick save. There is not. We need to get more Vesping gas as well. And then Zealots, you just come come home. Should be just fine there. Cool. We need to go get that Rift now. And then Razgul will just mind control everything we see. Let's finish this off. Again, just watch out for the Tornado. Warping Zealots at home. Let's get some more Pylons. There we go. My life for the High Lord. Want to make there sure we're what I can't do. just going with our units. Take the mortal. That's fantastic. Base is under okay, base is under attack. We're just fine though. Some cannons there. More zealots. I told you to rally here, guys. Get some F2-ing. <laughs> that would do it. We have a mortal now. Okay. Yes, you are Razgul. If we see any huge units, we definitely want to take those. Like Colossi or... Or just more immortals. <laughs> I love mind control. Any mind control abilities, I'm a sucker for. We can also use the Shadow Blast. But we should be just fine. Okay, we can get our... Not shields, shields are very expensive. Once we get this... And I focus on uh, upgrades with our gas instead of just getting more and more stalkers. Let's kill this very quickly. You can see they're sending units to our base. Just to get more stalkers. Okay, but with our cannons, we are just fine. Spread these guys out a little bit. Yeah. So we won't have to worry about those attacks at our base anymore. Uh, let's go for this one. Don't split up. Okay. Probably should get some cannons here as well. There we go. And then Zealots, you just stay here. Take the Wrathwalker. Back up, Wrathwalker. It'll be part of our group again. There's another Wrathwalker. Let's just Shadow Blast it. Shadow Blast. We 
should be... Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Keep bringing these elements at home, and then we'll bring those for the next attack, I guess. We do have Guardian Shield. Let's just pop it. My Wrath Walker is doing great. Okay. Rascal cannot die. <laughs> That would end very, very poorly for me. So let's go ahead back home. Or actually, let's just send all of our units and we'll go get this one down here. Let's meet up here. Just make more zealots for home. Cybernetics core, I guess that was to build stalkers? Not really sure. As ghoul is not looking too hot. It's getting health back. Okay. I guess Rascal, you'll be in the back. There is nothing what I can do. Let's go head down here. Take the stalker. And now that we have gas, let's just we can actually build some stalkers since we've gotten all of our um, upgrades. This this was probably their next attack. So we're gonna kill it, and we need to pop that guardian shield. Um, very again, very nice terrain. I've said all of this in the last mission. It's guarding shield. Okay, our zealots are taking the brunt of the damage. That's what they're good for. Taking a mortal, Razgul. There we go. And then we can just focus. Let's just focus down the cannons real quick. Guardian Shield. Oh, they're coming for us, are they? Okay. Oh, Wrathwalker. That's the enemy base down there. <laughs> let's just go, let's just go home. Get the stalker. Avoid the tornadoes. Like Cyber's X, all of his missions are very well polished. The training. I did notice in the opening, uh, the cinematic for this map, we did have uh, when Razgul was speaking, he was like in a surprised tone, saying that Amon was dead. It was in brackets that he was surprised. But I do not think that is necessary since we have actually have a voice actor now. So, just the the tone of the voice actor, you can tell that Malash is or not Malash. Razgul is, is surprised. Okay, so the gameplay is very similar to when I first played it. It's mostly the voice acting that Malash, Razgul's model. I could wait for my control. That did, like, no My damage. <laughs> as long as Razgul does not die, we're just fine. We're gonna have mind control up soon. Uh, let's just take the stalker. Mortal would have been a wiser choice, I guess. Razgul is just fine. We ran into our t tornadoes there. He's crushing grip. Not use that at all. <laughs> okay, this should be it. This should be the last one here. Go through the portal, my warriors. We will show them the true power of the Taldarim. This world can stand it. Let's see what my power can do. <laughs> I love the cinematic.
that's fantastic. All right, guys. So that was mission one of the Wrath of Taldarim. Uh, next, in the next video, I will be playing mission two, Echoes of Death. Those things look quite creepy. But we will be getting into that later. Um, yeah, I just, I'm really excited to continue this campaign. Again, this is Videltron Live. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye, everyone.